What's up, Matt 25 Gamers? Today we'll be taking a look at our X-Factor offensive formation out of the uh, run-and-shoot playbook, what an X-Factor formation is and how you can implement it into your own playbook. X-Factor, guys, is a simple thing that I like to use when I have nothing else to throw at my opponent. I don't want... This is like the, the formation you save for late in the game when he has no idea you could be going to this. This completely throws him off guard and he has to adjust. Uh, so out of the pistol trips, four wide receivers, and, and the main play we're going to be looking at is the halfback, uh, or excuse me, the, the smash play. And uh, because we really like the smash concept, we, we not only really like the smash concept, but it's really effective for what we want to do. And it also is going to allow us to have everything we need to have happen from our X-Factor formation. So um, one of the things I look for in an X-Factor formation is a dominant passing play. Uh, and, of course, that's going to be the smash. What we like to do with this, we like to put Lance Moore on a smoke screen, Mark Ingram on a streak, and we just read the defense. Uh, first read is obviously going to be the smoke screen if they're in cover four or zone blitziness. We're going to be able to hit that. Um if they're not in cover four, maybe in, maybe they're in um, cover three. Well, they're going to press that guy so we can still get the ball out quick to Lance Moore. It's all about that quick stuff in the X Factor. Uh, you're not looking for massive, massive gains from it. You're looking for a consistent drive or two out of it in a game. And then when they go to cover two, obviously we're going to have uh, that smash route wide open to the outside uh, with or the corner route wide open to the outside. And that's obviously going to work against cover two sink and cover two. Um, it's also going to be open against two man under here. Uh, so you see here, open against two man under. Um, sometimes, obviously, as you guys have seen, they play, they've play. they improved the defense on the corner routes in man coverage for whatever reason. So you have to make sure you're pass leading that harder to the outside there. I catch kind of through it. So uh, pass lead at about 3 o'clock right there when he breaks and get that ball to the outside to get it away from the defender. Uh, that's really important. Your next read on the play is the uh, seam route up the middle. If you want to take a shot against cover four or cover two, always have that in your arsenal. Another thing I really like about this route is against two man under, you could just lob it. And you see how the, the safety doesn't always, I mean, he'll get over there sometimes, but sometimes he won't. And uh, they rarely ever actually intercept it, so I'll, I'm willing to take that chance. And then on the left side, you have your, your next read, which is going to be Mark Ingram cutting to the inside. Uh, just get the ball out of your hands. It's going to be good for blitzing defenses and stuff like that. And then lastly, if they are two men under and for some reason have the corner route locked up, uh, then this uh, read to Colson is going to be open against man. Just wait till he cuts to the inside, and he's going to have that nice separation we like against man coverage uh, for a nice catch. So that's all the reads out of the base pass play. Our run audible down is a half back, simple halfback dive. We just use it and just run uh, straight forward with Mark Ingram. You could obviously substitute a read option or something in there. Uh, I'm just a big fan of that the halfback dive out of this, and I don't really worry about uh, really running the ball anyway. So we could just use this. We could get by. Um, next play is four verticals. Four verticals is pretty simple. Uh, all we're going to do with this play, we'll put Marquise Cole, so a smart routed out route. We're going to put Mark Ingram on a swing to the left, and that's all we're going to do with this. First read is to see what's going on with the curl to flat route. Here they're going to leave the flats open because uh, they're in cover four, so we're just going to take that and maybe make a juke or something on a player and uh, force them to have to you know, have a long day defending this play. Um, next read on this, of course, if they're in cover three, then you're going to have an opportunity to hit that out route to Colston. If they're in two men under, um, you're also going to have an opportunity to hit the out route to Colston here. You should have to wait a little bit. Pass lead to the outside as soon as he breaks. Gets the ball to your hands. Colston's going to make a catch on the sideline. If they're in cover two, now this is why we have the backside set up the way we have it set up. Um, if they're in cover two, what's going to happen is R1 on our team is going to be wide open over the seams uh, for a big, big gain. Uh, very difficult to slow him down there. So we just, uh, you know, kind of use the, ver the verticals as a distraction. We really want to run the curl flat. But if they give us a look that we can get, um, you know, a big gain possibly on it, well, okay, cover two. Okay, they're going to cover the curl flat read. So we'll just take this, you know, 30-yard touchdown pass typically to his guy. So you see that's uh, what we really like to do. And then in a situation where they may be, uh, they, it may, they may be cover zero blitzing us. They may be cover zero blitzing us. And um, if they're cover zero blitzing us, what we're going to do is we're going to have the, the out route's going to be open. Not only the out route's going to be open, but also the lob streak is um, so we could take the out route if we want. That's quick. But what we can also do is, if they are 
and heavy uh, cover zero coverage. If we back up a little bit, we may be on the 50-yard line or something. We could really make them pay for this um, because of what we can do with our adjustments. So here we go, and you're going to see that circle is going to get a lot of separation uh, on that route. Uh, just launch it deep once you see cover zero. And uh, if he's even, he's leaving. Just use that kind of philosophy and throw it like that. Uh, next play I want to look at is the Mustang Outs. We have a couple unique plays here. Uh, the Mustang Outs is basically like the stick comp set, but it's a little better. And what I like to do is I like to put another out route out there. So I'll put more on a smart route and out route. So we have three out routes at a slant. The first read is going to be the slant. Can we hit that? Typically, we're going to be able to hit that against uh, anything that's off coverage. So cover four, cover three, and cover two. Cover two, we're not, or excuse me, not cover two, cover, uh, cover zero. So here again, uh, set the play up. We look to the left. It's open. We're going to take it. That's just kind of the philosophy behind that uh, route. You know, it's not designed to make big plays. It's, it, it will make a couple. It will break a couple. But the reality is it's typically not going to be open. But when it's open, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Uh, cover three, you see, you can kind of still fit it in against cover three. Again, that solo slant over there is really effective. And there will certainly be times where you can't. Um, now look at the out routes here. So when they're in cover four, they're not going to get out there on Lance Moore. That's just the reality. Um, and it's just they just can't get out there on, on, on cover four just because of the three wide receivers set to the right, you see. And then all of these receivers are going to be open here. You see that Sims is going to be open against cover four. Uh, Nick Toon is going to be open against cover four right there. You see that all get separation against cover four. So that's really effective. We're going to use that to our advantage. Two man under. Uh, we already know that all these routes are going to be open against two man under, um, especially the X route. So you see, we I mean, just get the ball out of your hands quick and make a quick read. And that's all you're going to do out of the Mustang out. So last play, PA deep in. All I do with this is, as I just call it occasionally, just to act like I'm running and maybe play action. Triangles routes the first read. It's going to beat man coverage. Um, Sometimes, and like you know, like we said before, if they're if they're selling out against the run, they're cover zero blitzing us. Um, you're gonna see that. Wow, I freaking called the wrong play. Dang it! You're gonna see that. Um, uh, Lance Moore's just gonna burn his guy. Um, so play action, and then just launch it deep because you see he has a separation, and uh, it's a jump ball one on one situation. Typically, you'll win that. Uh, just understand that. Uh, let's see. Next real display is the out route. Or not the out route. Whoops. Uh, like I said, the running backs, is, running backs first read. Second read is the streak, the deep bomb. And then the last, uh, the fourth read is going to be the X out route to the right side. Typically, it'll beat cover four. Won't always beat cover three, but, you know, just kind of look over there, see what you got there. And then, um... Next read is going to be the deep in route to Marcus Colston. It's going to be able to be man coverage and almost all zone coverages, so just know that. And then the last read is this deep post over the middle of the field. It's going to roast man coverage. You're going to pass that to the inside and uh, really force them to have a bad day. So that's the exact formation. We like to use this once a game for one drive, usually two-minute drill, something like that. But just kind of mix this in. And, you know, good X-Factor formations from other playbooks are the shotgun empty eagle H tight, uh, the shotgun tight uh, doubles on, all sorts of different formations you can find. But just find that X-Factor that you can, get, you can save for that crucial moment and use it to start beating your opponents. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. See you guys tomorrow.